I had done this project before, but the laser pointer that I used had a very unusual battery configuration. So I thought I'd redesign it using a typical laser like this one I bought from Staples. As you can see on this drawing, I just have two AAA batteries inside and when you push the button the laser lights. So I took the batteries out and left the uh, end cap at home also and just took the laser empty to one of these big commercial stores that sells hardware and all kinds of stuff walking around trying to get an idea of how I'm going to do this. I walked all over the place and walked past where the dowel rods were and I picked one up and that was too small. In other words I finally found one that would just fit plus if I tried hard enough it actually made threads. So I thought this will probably work. We'll try using this. And this is what I came up with. You can see I didn't really need to use much of the doll. But you can see I drilled a hole down the center. And in this picture you can see that I've got a nice solder blob at the top. That's the center connection. And the other connection, that is braided wire, copper wire. And it's from like Radio Shack solder sipper type stuff. And that works real good. It's, you know, pretty much pure copper. Now that little wooden chip right next to it, I did cut that out, uh, that small shallow chip from the grooved or the very end to allow the braided wire to seat a little bit better. Here's the drawing and you can see it's very simple and here I have installed the batteries along with the end cap and now I'm going to test this to make sure it's going to work. And I'm going to hold down the button on the laser and then touch the two leads together and you can see that the laser does light. Here I'm connecting the leads to a stereo plug and I'm only going to be using two wires, the tip and the sleeve ground. The other lead that was in the center, if I'd hooked that up it would short the ground so I'm just I just cut it off. Here I have tied up the braided wire with dial cord. Now you could use string but dial cord happened to be handy here. And I wrapped it around a few times and super glued it and then here I put shrink tubing over it and also a little electrical tape. Here's a drawing of the completed connector. Now I have screwed that to the end of the laser and of course the batteries are in there and when I plug that into the radio which has a transformer output and also push the button on the laser it lights and how this is modulated is the output from the radio through that secondary of the transformer will add and subtract from the battery power supply in the laser so this is AM modulation and now it's time for a test. 
Sam Raleigh. Uh, yeah, can I make a request, please? The Kicks Cafe. Is open. Here, I'm gonna hear something. But Marvin Gaye. Request a little box on Karen Holmes are on. Get your order in by request. 919-860-1029. Shut down. The Kicks Cafe. Well, the modulated laser light worked very well, and I like this design because if I don't want to use it for this purpose anymore, I can just unscrew the connector I made and put the original end cap back on the laser and use it as a regular laser pointer. Thanks for watching.